Here we are going to learn about uniform and non-uniform motion. Whether a motion is uniform or not uniform depends upon the speed. If speed is constant, the motion is uniform or else it is non-uniform motion. One of the misconceptions about uniform motion is it occurs along a straight path. This is not necessarily true. Motion along a straight path or a straight line is called rectilinear motion and motion along a curved path is called curvilinear motion. But rectilinearity and uniformity are two independent properties of motion. They may or may not occur together. Let us look at an example. Here we have two vehicles, a tanker and a sports car. You would notice that the tanker is moving along a straight path, so it is in rectilinear motion, while the sports car is moving along a curved path, so it is in curvilinear motion. But are these motions uniform? For that we must take a look at the speeds and therefore the speedometers. You would notice that the speedometer of both the tanker and the sports car show a constant reading and therefore the speed is not changing and both the vehicles are in uniform motion. Let us now take a look at uniform and non-uniform motion and compare them side by side. For that we have these two heavenly bodies. One is a planet in a circular orbit around the sun and we have a comet in a highly elliptical orbit around the sun. And both of them come with speedometers something special. When we set them in motion you would notice that the speedometer needle of the planet is not moving at all. So its speed is constant and it is in uniform motion while the speedometer of the comet is showing wild fluctuation. So the, it is in non-uniform motion. It slows down when away from the sun and speeds up when closer to the sun. But very few things in real life come fitted with speedometers. So let us take a look at a different way of representing speed and its variation. For that we are going to look at three moving bodies, a bucket that is being drawn from the well, a rocket that is taking off and a ball, maybe cricket or baseball that is hit high in the air. Let us start with this bucket. As it rises, the time will be running and we mean that literally. We are actually going to make this timepiece, the stopwatch, run along the horizontal axis, like this. To observe this motion more clearly, let us have some reference lines or a grid. So on the vertical axis, we have the distance and the horizontal axis we have time. And you would notice that the bucket is covering equal distances in equal intervals of time. It's the first interval, second interval, third interval and so on. And therefore if we plot a graph of these two quantities, we would get a very interesting curve, a straight line. So for uniform motion, the graph of distance against time is a straight line. Let us take a look at something which is not moving uniformly. Say this rocket taking off. It slowly starts and then gradually picks up speed going faster and faster. Like before we are going to put some grid lines for reference and then you would notice that in equal intervals of time the rocket is not covering equal distances. In fact, the distance covered is gradually increasing because the rocket is picking up speed. And therefore, if we plot a graph, you might have expected that it will be curving in an upward direction like this. So this is a graph of a body which is picking up speed or which is accelerating. Finally, let us take a look at something that is slowing down, like this ball hit high in the air. It starts with high
high speed but as it rises it's going to slow down in fact it comes to a momentary halt at the highest point if observed against the grid lines then we will notice it is covering lesser and lesser distances in equal intervals of time and therefore if we plot the graph then it will be a curve which is curving downward like this this is a sign of a decelerated motion something that is slowing down 